Uh-oh, got the background music going. This is gonna be a long one. So I already covered the Lonesome Shazen in a previous video. Now let's get into the other one that dropped with the Daviri Paradox. Unlike almost every other Shazen, this one is not available in the market. The good news is you can get it for free. The bad news is you gotta get good. Now, before we go any further, spoiler warning. If you haven't done the Daviri Paradox yet, then skip ahead to 545 for my usual review. Okay, are they gone? Good, it's spoiler time. Once you've gone through the Daviri quest, start up a session of the Daviri experience. Scattered around the map, you may have noticed little Shazen stations like this. Interacting with one starts a minigame where you play through a song. There are two levels of difficulty, normal and virtuoso. Successfully getting through either of these will give you a decree and some resources. As far as I can tell, the rewards are identical between normal and virtuoso. So, there are 12 of these Shazen stations all over Daviri. Oh, hey, shout out to Megawolf620 on the forums for making this map. Link's in the description. Now, in order to get the courtly Shazen, you have to pass virtuoso difficulty on all 12 of these. Relax, it's not actually that hard. Look, here's probably my worst run. Each note tells you which fret buttons to hold down, and when it hits the circle at the bottom, hit the string button. Don't wait for a note to hit the bottom before you look at the next note. Oof. On your right is the rock meter. This is straight out of Guitar Hero. Correct notes fill it, and wrong notes drain it about three times as much. If it hits empty, you get booed off the stage. Did it. That's all it takes. The keys to sight reading music are looking ahead and practice. You didn't see that. I'm for sure terrible at this, but I was still able to do almost all of them first try. Anyway, the other challenge is finding all 12. Even with the map, some of them are a little tricky. Luckily, you don't have to do all 12 in one session. Let's go through them in no particular order. Number one's by the Orion Tower, right at the base. Number two's at the Lonesome Outlook, right by the edge. Number three's at the Fair Shores Hamlet. They do slam poetry here every Friday. Number four is at the Primrose Village, on top of the hill. Number five is in the King's Palace, right by the Starbucks. Number six is in the Amphitheater, right on stage. Hey, watch it, asshole. Yeah, you gotta clear the area of enemies or it won't let you play. Number seven's at Titan's Rest, underground. But then, I guess this is torture. Some of the very citizens have issues. Number eight's at the Chamber of the Muses, just sitting out in the open. Number nine's at the Agora, off to the side where the bodies are buried. Number 10's at North Wind Village. It's next to the good statue, not the crappy one. Number 11's a roadside attraction at Royal Stead Pastures. Okay, number 12 is tricky. It's up here in the Ark Arbor, but only during certain spirals. If you come here during anger or fear, then this whole place is just straight up not here. You gotta do number 12 during Joy, Envy, or Sorrow. Anyway, it's over here by the bridge to the topmost island. Finally, when you finish the last one, the Courtly Shazen is yours. You can extract immediately. It gives you a decree, so your progress is saved. So if you've been paying attention, you may have noticed something strange. On a normal Shazen, you need to press more than one fret to play a chord. In these mini-games, you don't.
My guess is this was done to make it easier. I can just see playtesters stumbling over chords one too many times. Otherwise, as far as I can tell, they're all legit Chosen songs you could play for real. Here, I can even name all the scales. Phrygian, Major Pentatonic, Minor, Phrygian, Minor Pentatonic, Hirajoshi, Minor Pentatonic, Major Pentatonic, Major, Major, Yo, Minor. I don't know, maybe someday they'll release the real code so you can play them outside of the minigame. I guess I could transcribe it myself and fix the chords, but I don't wanna. Alright, spoiler section is over. Welcome back to everyone who skipped ahead. I hope you brought snacks, because the rest of us have been here for a while. Now, let's finally hear this thing for real. So, my first thought was harpsichord. If you listen very closely to a single note, you can hear at least two tones separated by octaves. That's pretty typical of a harpsichord. Eh, it doesn't really sound right. I swear I've heard this exact sound on a hundred kung fu movies. But it's tough finding a traditional Chinese instrument that sounds like this. Eventually I found this. Never seen this before. Look at those tiny little hammers. It's freaking adorable. So this is called a uh Yang Xing. Huh, it's literally Chinese for dulcimer. What the hell's a dulcimer? Take a bunch of strings, stretch them across a board, playing with a hammer, that's a dulcimer. Anyway, the courtly shazen plays as a pretty standard shazen. Regular notes have a bit of bleed over, but it's not too bad. Chords I'll check out. I gotta give a shout out to the DE sound team. Before Duveri, three out of the last four shazens had some kind of issue on release, and I'd argue that two of them are still a little bugged. But the Duveri shazens are solid, no obvious issues. It's impressive considering the sheer amount of stuff that's in this release. So, I don't know any traditional Yang Xin songs, but I do know a lot of Bach. This song was written for children. Okay, if you want something more recent and mainstream, then you have to go back to the 60s and 70s. The first thing that came to mind was Donovan's Sunshine Superman. That's actually a harpsichord, but it's close enough. Turns out the Alan Parsons project used a ton of dulcimer in the late 70s. Honestly, for higher register synth melodies, I think this is a better match than the Kira.
Well, that wraps up the Daviri Shazans. There's always room for more. By the way, I am working on a new Shazan app. Despite what it looks like, it's still got a ways to go. The official release date is not soon. I'll see you next time. I'm still holding out for a banjo Shazan. Thanks for watching. Well, here he is, the Shazen Master. Not only does he have a lonesome Shazen that sounds like a courtly Shazen, but he gets to play in a scale that none of us have access to outside of bots. Wait, is this guy a bot? I'm calling bot. <laughs> <laughs>